Now, moving right along, let's talk about product research. When it comes time for you to want to create a product, you want to make sure that you create a product that people actually want. So let's say, for example, you're ready, you've done your market competition research, and you know you want to move into this market. Now, there are several free sites that you can use to get customer feedback to know exactly what the complaints are, what they're looking for, what their desires and needs are, and things like that. So Amazon.com is a great place to go. And we can simply type in low cholesterol. And you'll notice that Amazon, as you type the keyword, it tells you what other keywords are available. For example, we can see low cholesterol cookbook is located in the books, Kindle store, and books trade in. Now if you click on low cholesterol diet plan and stick to what we've been searching, you can see that different books here and it gives you related searches. So we saw that the cookbook seems to be getting more searches. So we got 453 types of products that are being sold under this specific keyword. Or on the other hand, this here was 192. Now in terms of product research, what you want to do is specifically find a product that may relate to something that you want to create. So let's say for example that I'm looking to specifically create a book or a DVD on a specific diet plan. So we can see the dash diet action plan is mainly weight loss. Okay, so cholesterol down. So let's click on the one that seems to be getting the majority of the good reviews. So if we click on this here, the stars, my goal here is to read through the reviews, specifically the good reviews and then of course the negative reviews. Because the negative reviews, if you can find a pattern and a consistent pattern of people saying the exact same thing, specifically not necessarily about the product in terms of readability and things like that, but in terms of content. If you can figure out something that is missing, then guess what? You can fulfill that by creating a product around something that is missing because people are looking for that specific something, that content that is missing. You've got that content. Great. You've put it in front of the buyer market and they now want it. So now you get the idea of that customer views are key. Customer views tell you exactly what people want what people are frustrated with and what they're willing to buy, what they expected. Now they, they didn't find it, they're going to go around and search for other types of products that can fulfill that specific need. And then of course, going back, I'd advise you to look at other specific products, look at the reviews, like this one here, go here, you know, look for the one, two, three, four stars, Look at the five stars, see what's good, but also see what's missing. So that's a great way to do some research on Amazon. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.